everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Sunday afternoon, January the 29th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A first, Aqueduct Race 7, 3.17 p.m. Eastern Coast Time, 6 for a long sprint on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track, 4 year olds and up racing for an allowance prize of some $52,000. Tenders number 9, Cooper River number 2, So Scout number four cap the moment and number five fortitude number nine cooper river takes a class drop of two units this afternoon as the pace profile leader in its allowance field sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt has hit the board in four of his last five including back-to-back -back power run wins in his third and fourth races back coming off a power run place finish facing better company in his last start missing a circle trip in that race by less than a length Number two, So Scott also takes a class drop as the overall speed leader. He's hit the board in five straight with the last three efforts, including a win in his third race back, also qualifying as power runs. Race seven summary, number nine, Cooper River tops the contenders list, which also includes number two, So Scott, number four, Cap the Moment, and number five, Fortitude, nine, two, four, five in the seventh from Aqueduct. Go to Gulfstream Park for their featured race 10, 4.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Holy Bull Stakes. Mile test on the dirt, grade 3, three-year-olds race for $400,000. Tenders number 4, Hanson. Number 1, Silver Max. Number 6, A Logarithms. And number 5, Fort Aloudon. Number four, Hansen, takes a slight class drop to enter this grade three event as both the overall speed and pace profile leader racing at today's distance of a mile on the dirt. is undefeated in a three race career to date with two of those circle trips also qualifying as power run wins. Jockey Ramon Dominguez was in his irons for that last win, which came at Churchill Downs back today here in South Florida gunning for two in a row. Number one, Silver Max, an 8 to 1 shot, has hit the board in five straight with his last three efforts, including a win in his last start, also qualifying as power runs. Race 10 summary number four, Hansen, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number one, Silver Max, number six, a logarithms, and number five, Fort Loudon, 4 1, 6 5 in the 10th from Gulfstream, the $400,000 Grade 3 Holy Bull Stakes. Bonus Long Shots, Parks Racing, Race 7, Number 6, Six Pack Sammy, 8 to 1 in the morning line, the overall speed leader in his starter allowance field, sprinting at or about today's distance of 6.5 furlongs on the dirt. Turf Paradise, Race 3, the 6 to 1 shot, Number 5, Waverly Girl, a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony Qualifier, takes a big class drop of some. 21 track master units nice overall speed for this short four and a half for a long sprint so handicapping from both aqueduct and gulfstream on the sunday for the eight and four the equibase winter circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head not over